Hello, back again. Uh, as you can see, I've got the cab on. I've got most of the bits attached to the cab. I've got the uh, the bull bar on the front, the lighting bar. I've got the um, the windows in, all the glass in, which is my nemesis. But I'll I'll tell you more about that in a second or two. There's quite a lot of photographs to go with this. I've got the exhaust pipe done, but it's not actually fixed in place. It needs paint, uh, finished painting yet. It's going to be green on the on the outside. The glass in the doors. Um, got the spare wheel system all rigged up. The Bing Bing was my email program. Um, again. Um, so where are we up to? We've got. Let's move it out of the way because it's quite delicate. We've done all of section 22 now, so what I did was I put the bonnet on, onto the cab, glued the bonnet onto the cab, and then put the lighting bar on, the air horns, um, uh, any other little bits and pieces, a couple of lamps on the back, markers on the front. Then I painted the whole thing, painted the whole thing green as you can see as a base coat. What I've done then, is put the other bits on um, the handrails and the like and painted all the the brassware separately there's a lot of it gone black painted the radiator black and if you come to fit this when you, when you do this model uh, this kit fit, it implies that you would fit the on the instructions here that you would fit the radiator into the chassis frame at the front if you do, you'll never get the the bonnet to fit on. It fits. You can see a little hole there in the in the side of the bonnet, which fits into a little lug on each side. The only way to get them in is to put the fit the radiator into the into the bonnet into the grill, and then fit the whole thing onto the onto the chassis. You've got to fiddle about a little bit. There are four lugs that fit into the bottom of the cab as well, and you need to glue the, 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 the bonnet onto the onto the cab really quite accurately so that all that will fit together. It takes quite a lot of dry fitting before you can you, you can get it right. The bull bar um, just sits onto those two protrusions at the front of the uh, at the front of the chassis, which is normal enough. There are two photo etched chains, one here and one here. That, in my eyes they don't look realistic at all so I haven't put them on and I'm going to make two real chains and put them on. They're just safety clips so that the bull bar doesn't fall down on your head. I mean just safety clips, you don't want that thing falling on your head. The framework here for the the light enclosures, that's all photo etch. Yeah, easy enough to bend, not quite so easy to glue onto the onto the frame because you've only got a very very thin area to glue it on and what I did was I glued it on with super glue then reinforced it with some ultra glue which is a little bit stronger in my view and talking about the ultra glue I put the glass in after I'd painted it this kit comes with die cut masks for all the glass which is a great idea but the way I did it, I, I, I don't, didn't need to use them. Because what I did was I sprayed all the cab, painted it all, and then put the glass in so that all the frames were green and um, you didn't see any plastic showing through. But glass is my, the glass on these kits is my nemesis. I get glue all over them. They get fogged up, they get fingerprints all over them, and then I get a bit of glue on the fingerprints. It's terrible. But this time, I think, I've got away with it. As you can see, our windscreen, it's all nice and clear, yeah, and the windows on the side, you can see the windscreen much better there actually, you can see straight through it without any, any smudges on it at all, all the glass at the back has gone in quite nicely, and likewise with the doors, you can see through those quite clearly, yeah, and the way I did it this time, was I used this stuff, uh, that's it, MIG Ultra Glue, and I used two parts glue and one part water and then very carefully with a brush put the glue inside the window frame and then very carefully put the the glass on the window frame then when it had set 
cleaned it with a cotton bud and a little bit of alcohol and I think that's well it's certainly much better for, <laughs> than I normally do which is not very good so I'm quite happy with that I'm, I'm really happy with it in fact so that's all the glass went in and then put the windscreen wipers on I haven't put the mirrors on I've assembled the mirrors and the arms but I haven't put them on they're so fragile that they, they would just break off and there's nothing actually to glue them to on the on the arms on the mirror arms so I've, I've altered them a little bit I put a little fillet in the bottom there so that I can glue the whole thing together you probably can't see that to be fair um, but you won't certainly won't see it when it's all painted and and I'll glue those on right at the end uh, when the whole thing's finished the spare wheel winch uh, you may remember I mentioned that I was going to form a cable to put on the top of it so I've wrapped a steel cable around the the, the, the winch itself it goes across down through the the hole comes across and and I found a little piece of plastic from uh, a previous model which is uh, a lashing point from a trailer glued that onto the side then formed a hook it's, it's not easy to see there I'm afraid but anyway formed a hook and a loop and put them together when I paint that a more steel colour so it's not bright and shiny that should look quite good and so that's 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 that ready to go other than that I pay, I, I, I'm, I'm experimenting with trying to paint rust it doesn't show up too well on the on the video but that exhaust pipe looks very realistic in real life. The, the, the video doesn't do it justice, even though I say it myself. Obviously, there's some patch up paint work to do. What you'll find with this, I mean, this is a second Hobby Boss kit that I've done, and the first one was uh, an M1070, and it was really quite, quite a robust kit. Uh, this, however, you might be able to see that. It, it actually flexes in the middle um, it's not nearly as as robust as the the, the last one I did you can, uh, you can definitely see it there everything twists and so it's really quite fragile really quite delicate that's mainly because the plastic that it's made from is very soft it's a static kit you're not going to go brum brumming it around you know you know it's not to be played with so it, it will look absolutely fantastic when it's finished, but you've got to be ever so careful not to break bits off it while you're while, while you're building it. Um, it looks even even now when it's only a fraction finished, it looks really quite good. I don't think there's much more I can tell you about that at the moment. I put the fifth wheel on. That's uh, as it was as it's meant to do. Moves up and down so that you you can accommodate the the kingpin and the trailer. The photo etch is, is really good quality. I mean, you can see that there. It's, it's fantastic. What else is there? Not a lot that I haven't shown you already. I put the mud guards on. They're painted black. And they're really quite detailed. So there's uh, Oshkosh on the back. Scratched a bit of paint off there. But that's easy fixed. Fitted the air, air filter on the side. The doors will go on shortly. And I think that's about all I can show you. So what I'm going to do next is moving on from here, I'm going to do section 24, 25 and 26 and 27, I've already done 28, well it's part 27 actually, which is all the winch gear for the, the, the back of the unit. And before I paint all of that, I'll put a video of it up. That looks relatively simple, but I imagine that it's going to be quite complicated when I when I start it. Any questions? Any any comments? Please don't hesitate. Put them at the bottom, and it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. Thanks very much, Sarah.